wrist, twist it like a stir fry. Put it in the kitchen wrist, twist it like a stir fry. Put it in the kitchen wrist, twist it like a stir fry. Put it in the kitchen wrist, twist it like a stir fry. Put it. Keep watching. Good morning guys. So as you can see, I still got my night clothes on because uh, it's 11.21 so kind of slept a little bit longer than I wanted to. But we were tired as y'all saw last night, like exhausted. Like exhausted wasn't even the word, okay? The word. It's supposed to be 91 in Vegas today you guys. 91 tomorrow, 67 Thursday so that's kind of cold. Um, 72 on Friday, which kind of sucks. But yeah, today's gonna be in the 90s. So I think I'm wearing shorts today. Tomorrow I'm probably wear my dress. I don't know because I'm probably gonna wear pants on Thursday. How did I think about it? I'm glad I at least brought one pair of pants. I should have brought another pair. I don't know what I was thinking, but I'm, last time I looked at this, this weather, it was supposed to be hot all week. Now that I'm looking at it, things have drastically changed, which sucks. So anyway, um, I don't know what we're about to get into. What we were going to do today was canceled. So we basically have the entire day until tonight when we have reservations for our anniversary at the Stratosphere. Um, we're going to Top of the World restaurant. We'll just go there for drinks and dessert if we want to or just for the ambiance all on its own and go to this other restaurant and get like steaks and pastas and stuff like that, stuff I love. So like I said, I don't know what we're gonna get into this morning now because our plans were canceled so I'm hungry so I would love to find some food um, what I'm gonna do is start getting ready I got this Neutrogena um, lotion you guys oh my eyebrows I got some Neutrogena face lotion that has sunscreen in it and I really it's, it's really like it's really great it's non greasy because I had tried the Cetaphil kind immediately took it back because it was just my face felt greasy and thick after I'm like uh-uh this is not gonna work in Vegas heat I already know <laughs> I took it back and I got the Neutrogena kind on um, the SPF is 35 I think so that is bomb anyway I got my natural hair and my two little pigtails you know bobby pin to the back of my head because I wanted to be flat when I put my wig back on um, I did bring my shampoo and conditioner just in case I need to wash my natural hair at some point because um, you know I didn't get a chance to do that before we left and I want to make sure that my hair is moisturized and taken care of underneath you know that's how you retain length with your natural hair so yeah let me go ahead and get off of here because I need to start getting ready because whatever I'm wearing I know it's gonna take me the longest to get done especially if I want to try and curl my hair so yeah let me go ahead and go now before he gets back all right you guys I am finally dressed got my hair done we're gonna have to do something to keep this under control but anyway so I got on my let me show you guys in the mirror I'm gonna flip this around um so I got on my Fashion Nova romper I got this last year so it's definitely not new but I'm wearing it because it's hot outside it's hot and I'm just not ready to be hot but I got Fenty Beauty on my chest I don't know if you guys can see it doesn't look like it but anyway my husband's waiting on me so I'm gonna go I'm gonna put a bobby pin here to keep this like that yeah that looks better <laughs> that looks so much better Jeez, let me go. I am finally ready to go. Loving these glasses. More details coming soon. The white hat? Yeah. It would, but I didn't want it for today. I got that for the pool anyway. Yeah, we could have did it today, honestly. It just wasn't planned for today, but you, we gotta go to the mall. So we are leaving our hotel. It's really warm outside. It's really nice. Big bus, hop on, hop off. That's cool. Um, but if I'm not mistaken, the bus, we gotta go to the right and down, and then we'll be at the bus stop. Um, I forgot what we did that one day. Anyway. Oh, I might get the phone call, which means I'll probably be getting one soon. So ready to eat.
some water. Get it. I wonder if those ducks still here from earlier. Hold on. Ooh, so pretty. Oh. Wow, like I didn't even see all that yesterday. Like it goes all the way up there. They have such a nice habitat. Doesn't that water just feel so refreshing? That's where I feel like y'all can feel it too. today man Another day now. the Ross out here is oh crap as soon as I pull the camera out our bus comes dinner. Julian has made his selection. Jericho. Uh, we can see somewhat a little bit. This, well, you can't go too far. Y'all ain't gonna see what's mine. But anyway, she's made her selection. Thank you so much. And I'm gonna hand her back. So again, we finally made each other resume. See the, see the, you gotta take it on this camera. You see the difference? It's so, it's so good in low light. It's so good in low lighting. I need to turn, 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 turn off that motherfucker. What you got the motherfucker? Try to turn my necklace. How'd you got this? Damn, look at that hair, little red mode. I done turned something. What? Why don't you just flip it down? <laughs> Anyway, anyway, look at her. I make it harder than it's supposed to be. But look at her. Look at her. She keep following the camera. Quit looking at the camera. Trying to get the whole hair thing. 
Trying to get the hurt thing on it is. Trying to get the hurt thing on it is. Try it, you got it. I'm done. I'm, I'm just fucking with you now. Look at her. <laughs> Look at her. Beautiful. Red dress, amazing. Look at her. She came out here to be pretty. I got red for you. Black. Outfit, I guess. Dudes really don't have options, I guess, unless you go on blazer or... I guess we do that. Anyway, back to her. Okay, so this chicken alfredo. I don't know if I got it on camera or not. It is very good. And it has nutmeg in it. And he has a bomb steak. Hey fam, first off, I wanna say, this here is the best steak I think I've ever had in my life. I ain't gonna think about it, I know. This is the best steak I've never had. Mm, mm, mm. And it got signature sauce. Mm, mm. And they got their signature sauce. Boy, that shit is on point. It's better than uh, all that other shit we be drinking, eating, drink, whatever. <laughs> but I'm gonna go back to what I was doing. I'm gonna holler at y'all in a minute. So it took the hour to go all the way around. Oh my god. That's so cool. Oh my gosh. I don't know, but oh my god. That's why it costs so much because of all this. Oh my gosh, like you can see everything. It's so cool. We can now oops. wait for it to focus. Okay, we can now officially say we've been here. And it's pretty dope. It's definitely something I think you should come see. Even if you don't eat. <laughs> Just come see it. Because it's really cool. It's really cool. It's so cool. Spinning. I didn't know if you'd be able to tell that you were spinning, but you can't. And it's really cool. I like it. And he's zoned out, but he likes it too. Hmm? I don't know what I just did. You what? <laughs>
Okay, you guys, so we are finally back from the stratosphere. My feet are on 5,000, you guys. Like, my feet are rough like cardboard right now. I am not understanding. I honestly have no idea what I'm gonna do Thursday when we go to the club. Like, no idea because my feet. I do have some inserts that I can put into my shoe, so I'm praying when I put these freaking inserts in my shoe that it helps because I have no idea how I'm gonna enjoy myself Thursday. I ain't wearing them, not another heel, and so I absolutely have to. So tomorrow, I'm wearing tennis shoes. Thursday, I'm wearing tennis shoes. The only tennis shoes I brought, my Pumas. Those are literally gonna be the only tennis shoes, shoes I'm wearing this trip. What was I thinking? Every time I have a trip, I'm never prepared. I never bring flats. I, keep, I always forget about it. I did bring some sandals though, but you can't wear sandals in the clubs out here. So I'm gonna have to wear, I'm gonna have to wear these. Oh, that's going to suck. But like I said, we are back and my dress matches the room. So it's really cute. Sorry for all the shambles you guys see back there. These lashes, you guys. Oh my God, I gotta focus. If it'll focus, oh my God, you guys. Uh, these lashes are freaking life. I love them. I got them from 511 Cosmetics. I will leave the link in the description bar, but you guys, look at this volume. They don't bother my eyes, like they look so natural. I mean, like they're bomb, like they look like mink lashes, like when you get a full lash extensions, which I have nothing against lash extensions, but you know, I just like being able to take these off because I sleep, I cannot sleep cute. So I had lash extensions. I woke up the next morning, they were all tangled. So I'm like, yeah, this is not for me. Sorry, my eyes are so red, you guys. I am exhausted. Like, I didn't get much sleep last night because um, the people who work in the facility, the staff room is next door. So early in the morning when I get ready to do their housekeeping stuff, like it was... It was so loud and it was so annoying and the sunlight kept me up because y'all know in our bedroom we have blackout curtains so I wasn't ex I wasn't used to that. Um, I don't know, I just could not sleep. I was exhausted and I still could not go to sleep. So anyway, like I said, I took my shoes off and stuff. I'm about to take my dress off. I already took a shower so I'm probably not gonna take another shower because I didn't get back sweaty. We just went out to eat and came back. So, but today was amazing. It's been eight years for us, you guys. Eight years of being married. It is not easy, you guys. Marriage is not easy. I mean, I guess it just depends on who you're married to, but marriage is not easy. Um, but one thing I have learned is you find out if you're really committed to a person when they're struggling with something in their life, when you have to um, make a commitment to be committed even when you don't feel like being um you know with with the way that you know people try and make marriage these days is is you know love is when you get the butterfly feeling when you get the feeling oh i can't wait to see them and then when you get out of that stage which you will get out of that stage it just you know not not me out of that stage is when you see a person your partner you're gonna be like oh i hate them oh i can't wait to get away i don't mean that but i mean like you're gonna have some real moments but you should always have those butterflies you should always feel like, oh, I can't wait to see my, my spouse. You should always have that. That should never go away. So I just want to make that clarification because I know a lot of people used to tell me, you know, that feeling you feel for your husband, it's going to go away after so long. Y'all going to get tired of each other. And yeah, you are. But that doesn't mean that that feeling has to go away. You just got to be human. Like, when you're human, every day isn't good. So, like I said, it's really hard. So, getting to eight years is an accomplishment. And I don't take it lightly at all. Especially when we got married at 19 and everybody thought we would fail. Like, it's really hard. Just because I think, I feel like just because so many people thought we would fail, marriage can be a challenge sometimes. But it's totally worth it. Anyway, I don't know if this vlog will end here. I'll come back later, but I'm like I said, I'm about to get out of this outfit. And this highlight though, it's so bomb. Like, I don't even want to take it off. These lashes though. So bomb, I don't even want to take them off. Okay, so let me go ahead and shut this down for now because I'm tired. <laughs>